to footy classified. Well, we've got the Thursday game out of the way. Now let's have a look at what is a tantalising game on Friday down at GMHBA Stadium. And it is Geelong versus Hawthorne. And two of the stars of this game, in fact, whoever wins their particular battle might actually help get their team over the line. Mark Blitzarves, the superstar from Geelong, and Jonathan Patton, the uh, gun recruit for the Hawthorne Football Club. Gentlemen, welcome to Footy Classified tonight. Uh, Jonathan, you probably played more games down at uh, GMHBA than any other Hawthorne player, I gather, going down this weekend. Uh, how are you feeling about uh, finally getting back out there to play for your Hawks? Yeah, it's uh, obviously very exciting just to even just to get out and play. Um, obviously, going down Geelong, like you said, I'm probably I think there's only a handful of us that have even played a game down there. So, um, yeah, looking forward to getting down. It's going to be nice and cold on the Friday night. Um, and uh, yeah, just just like everyone else, just looking forward to um, going, getting out there and. Just playing football again. Good stuff. Mark Blitzarves is with us. Uh, just one of the great players and great stories in football. Congratulations on your career so far, Mark. And it's, uh, as I said, just one of the great stories coming in as an athlete, a Category B uh, athlete coming onto the list. And you've just been a dominant player for the Geelong Football Club. Mate, what does it feel like to be back? That's exciting. There's a bit of unknown there, Eddie. Um, we've uh, have obviously haven't played since, since round one a couple of months ago. So... I presume all 18 teams have, have done the hard work and the training over the three weeks and they're going to round two confident. Um, so there's a bit of unknown, but I'm sure all the boys on, on Friday night will be super excited to, one, just to be out there and, and playing football and playing the game we love. So, Mark, we've been talking about Black Lives Matter and what might happen at the MCG on Thursday night. Is it right that Quinton Narkle, your teammate, spoke to you and, and the leadership group about what Geelong and Hawthorne might do? on Friday? Yeah, we, we had a chat at the start of the week, Caroline. Um, Quinton's obviously very passionate. Um, he's been... Uh, he spoke to leadership group at the start of the week and, and said he's been brought up to, to always um, fight for what's right and do the right thing. And, and he spoke really well to us as, us as leaders. So um, we're all really passionate about um, doing something Friday night um, before and after the game. Uh, I haven't heard any confirmation on what it is that we are going to do, but we will definitely do something to acknowledge and, and support um, Black Lives Matter, that's for sure. Fantastic, Mark. Uh, Johnny, we'll bring you into it. Uh, I want to ask you, have you played on Mark Blixar's before? And if so, what's the head-to-head -head record like? Um, good question. I, I, I'm not too sure if I have. I think Harry Telly um, has taken me most times I've played against the Cats. Uh, mind you, the last time I played it was probably a few years ago. So, um, you know, Mark's obviously one of the best full-backs in the, in the game at the moment. So... It's going to be a tough, tough battle. Uh, I'm looking forward to it because I had, I had um, Harris Andrews in round one and uh, no better way to your first two games back after a few years out of a couple of All-Australian defenders. So it's, um, it's, it's going to be a great battle. Oh, we cannot wait to watch it. Uh, the, the athleticism of you, Mark, versus a pair of you, Johnny Patton. Mark, I'm putting you on the selection panel of Geelong. Do you pick Jack Stephen on, on uh, Friday night? Oh, that's a great question, Lloydie. <laughs> uh, get to... Uh, Patton's answer, I played on him once and he's on zip and one. He, he okay. won the game. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, look, he, he's going really well. He's, he's fighting fit and he wants to play. Um, it's just how conservative I think the club's going to be with him. We want him, hopefully we make finals and at the pointy end of the season. So we don't need to push or rush him back, which is we've got time. Um, he'd love to play, but I think a decision will be made on him tomorrow. John... In relation to your key forward, it can be tough days down there. With the rule changes and the game getting shorter, have you looked at possibly developing a ruck craft so you can help protect your position in the team and, and mix things up for yourself when it gets a little bit tough? Is that something even Clark has spoken about? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, I've even um, back when I was playing at the Giants, I used to do quite a bit of pinch hit in the ruck, and um, you know. Uh, as as, every, as everyone knows, you know, key forwards can sometimes um, have some quiet days. So to, to get in the ruck is um, is pivotal just to sometimes get back in the game, um, just to get around the ball. Um, yeah, it's definitely something we'll look at. Uh, you also, we also got Tim O'Brien and obviously Big Boy, who's um, down in defence at the moment. So we've got a good mixture of who can go pinch hit. But um, I'll definitely put my hand up, especially if it's um, if I can't get – if Mark's – uh, not letting me get the ball at the start of the game. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll say, Segs, get the four line and, and let me get a few cheap touches. And as we know, you rely on a midfield supply as a key forward. So we did note today, and it's been publicised, that Jaeger O'Meara didn't, didn't complete trainings in, in doubt. Can you shed any light on that? 
Yeah, yeah. Jake didn't train today. He's, um, he did a lot of running. I think it's just about, I think it's just touch and go tomorrow, if, um, how he's feeling, how the um, how his skull is actually healed. So um, if he doesn't play this week, I'm, I'm pretty sure he'll play next week. And um, obviously he's, he's a gun, so we, uh, we definitely want him out there. And um, I'm sure you're looking forward to playing alongside Patrick Dangerfield on his 250th mark. Chris Scott, I think, said today he's transformed your football club since he's come. We've heard a lot about his off-field thoughts in the last couple of months. How's he going on-field? Yeah, he's going really well. Typical Paddy's flying on the track. I think he's just really keen to get out there. He's um, obviously spent a lot of time thinking about football over the last couple of months and um, obviously can't have family at the game tomorrow, uh, Friday night, but um, look, he'll be fine. You know, he's got the support of his family and uh, he's going really well. He's, he's very excited to be back Friday night. Hey, Mark, can I ask you, uh, if they do cut the list, as I mentioned in the intro, you're a Category uh, B rookie coming on. That means an athlete coming from another sport. And you're the poster boy for what we should be looking at, that we go to other sports and give people the opportunity. What would you say to uh, Stephen Hawking, who you probably know pretty well, what would your word of advice yeah. be as far as this is concerned? Oh, it's a tough one. I am obviously come from that background, so I support uh, the way that talent's picked up um, through that. I think it's something that you can find unique talent and it's a nice pathway for people and athletes from different sports to make their way on an AFL list. But cuts potentially are coming and, and it's a tough one. It's, it's um, from the pros and cons section, but uh, I'm a supporter of it for sure and I'd like to see it stay. And Jonathan, after such a hard run with injuries, mate, uh, you got round one out of the way. Uh, round two, it's taken a little while to get there, hasn't it, mate? We wish you all the very best for this season, mate. Good luck. Thank you, Eddie. I appreciate it, mate. Good on you. And Blitz, to you, mate. As we said, uh, you're one of our favourites. Uh, the athlete who came out and has become a superstar footballer. Have a great season, buddy. Appreciate it, guys. Thanks for having me. Great stuff. Two of the greats of uh, both their sides. Jonathan Patton, the new recruit, the gun recruit, the power forward for the Hawthorne Football Club. And Mark Blitzars, whose previous incarnation was an under-12 player in Sunbury before mm. playing for the famous Hoops of Geelong. We're going to take a break. More footy classified right after this.